Hello, and welcome to the King of Random. Today, we will be put in water, and these are all my friends, and we are in a happy home. Welcome. In today's video, we're seeing if we can grow plants by watering them with different liquids. All right, well, as you heard the plant say, we're gonna put them in some new happy homes and then water them with different liquids here. Here's the basic idea. We're gonna be putting plants in mason jars and then watering them over the course of two weeks with many different liquids. We're gonna see which ones are alive and thriving, which ones are wilted, and if any have died. We are actually gonna start with a control, just water. We've got vinegar, got rubbing alcohol, tonic water, some vegetable oil, some soda, we chose A&W root beer, some lemon juice, and then Red Bull. So I was just thinking like, we water plants with water, right? And some of these are water-based liquids. How much of a water-based liquid do we need to have the plant live? Can watering it with soda keep it alive? Is there enough water in it? Or is the carbon going to kill it? I did see something on the internet, it could be completely false, but that water that is bubbly or has carbonation bubbly. in it, if your plant is wilted and dying, that you can actually throw carbonated water and it will mm. bring it back to life. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but our little snapdragon friends are ready to get into their positions. So all of these are <laughs> snapdragons. So every morning when I come to the studio, I'm going to water these at like 9 a.m and give them each a little dose every morning, just enough to wet the soil and make sure they can keep on growing. And we'll check back in two weeks and see what they're like. This is one of my favorite flowers, by the way. All, All right, right, let's pot these. Woohoo! So we got some mason jars, we got some potting mix to also help us out. We gotta label some. So first we'll just put them in and then we can label. Awesome. We got a nice little divot for our little friend. Yeah, so we're filling them up almost like all the way. So like 80% full. Get them leaves out of the jar as much as possible. Oh, I just love them. I love snapdragons. They're just so fun. It's like you're tucking them in. Once upon a time, there was these beautiful plants in the land of plants. And they all woke up feeling great in the morning. Then Kevin and Grace walked into Home Depot. And they, they screamed, screamed for their lives. <laughs> okay, we got a dirty table. Dirty table, some extra, extra plants. We'll Which will be helpful later. later. I'll let you water them. You want to create labels? You, yeah, as you water them, I'll label them for you. All right, so we're gonna start with water. So it'll be our control. It's the only pink one we have, so we'll know exactly that that one's pink. I didn't choose the white one because maybe those white leaves are gonna glow blue after uh, two weeks of watering with tonic water. We'll see if we can make them glow in the dark. Okay, <laughs> I thought it might have gone over. Oh, whoa, that's uh, interesting there. <laughs> You know, it seemed like it was settled. So I took the cup off and, and then it just went. So we're gonna test with the black light before we start the full two weeks of watering to see what it looks like. No glow. what the leaves look like. So there's a little bit of glow on some of the water droplets that we see. So the plant has a little bit of that just because there's a little bit of spray, but the leaves themselves do not glow yet. So next up, let's do vinegar. So vinegar oh in there gosh, now. I feel like it's just gonna die instantly. Why? I mean, vinegar, it's only like 5% acid. Let's do lemon juice. I'm gonna do the yellow one. 100% juice, but first ingredient in here is water. So it's water and then lemon juice, so it is diluted down. Maybe our snapdragons will give off a lemony smell then. That'd be nice. Next, let's bring on the root beer. So, rubbing alcohol. We do have a lot stronger stuff at like 90%. I want it to go down a little bit to the 70% to give it a little bit more of a fighting chance. So it's not just straight alcohol. <laughs> How kind of you. <laughs> Trying to do my best to the plant. Canola oil. So this one, so everything we've done so far has had some sort of water base in it. This is our first one that has no water in it whatsoever. It's just pure oil. So I'm guessing that this one's probably going to die. The question is, is will it die within the two weeks? Don't die, buddy! Don't do it! <laughs> Everything else was like absorbing quickly. The oil definitely takes longer to absorb in, obviously because it's thicker. Mr. Oil Plant. Last up, it's Red Bull. Very water-based, but it's also carbonated. It's got some sugar and some acid in it. We're gonna see how our tallest, most beautiful plant that was talking to us at the beginning of today's video is going to do under Red Bull. Now what will be really interesting to see is that this plant grows wings because Red Bull gives you wings.
We're gonna put them in the back room under a plant light. I'll water them every morning. We'll put a time lapse on it and then we'll check back in two weeks to see which of our little friends here are still alive. All right, we said we were gonna let them sit for two weeks. We decided after looking at them that one week was enough because <laughs> we can see drastic differences. Certainly enough. Mm -hmm. Now, over here we got our control. So this is the water one. I was just watering it every morning at about 9 a.m. I went in there and did some watering. And actually in the first like day or two, I noticed that everything with acid was starting to die quickly. <laughs> So if I did water them for another week, they definitely would have like completely gone away. They would have been like, help me please. <laughs> so let's go through each of them. So we got the water one here, this one. It's beautiful, it looks great. Yeah, it's got a little dead leaves, dead well, flowers. Uh, kind of on the backside, I mean, that's a little expected of sorts. We had the grow light going, but the leaves themselves. They look spectacular. Look really healthy. Okay, so we're jumping into the time lapse to see if Grace's theory of the tonic water re invigorates the leaves. The internet did tell me that adding tonic water would bring your dead wilted leaves back up to life. So let's check it out and see if it like actually happened. So we're gonna watch this here. All right, so here's our tonic water. Stand oh! They did! That totally jumped back up. Let's get that again. They said, I'm sad. They did, they popped back up. We More than any of them. None of the other ones did that, but that one definitely Pop wow. back up. That was awesome. So, if your flowers are struggling, add a little bit of tonic water to give mm -hmm. them that little boost. I think it has to do with introducing the CO2 into the soil. Oh, probably. Yeah, so I think when you introduce that CO2 to the soil, it allows them to photosynthesize better because, you know, mm -hmm. they take in the CO2 and they put out oxygen for us to breathe. Yeah, so let's turn off all the lights and see if these white flowers are gonna glow under the black light. I hope they do. <laughs> well, I never poured on the leaves. I always pour directly in. Now, do you glow? No, nope, this must be from something else. <laughs> all right, well, it's disappointing. We're not actually seeing drastic leaf change. A little speckles here and there. That's about it. So the next one that's looking the best is this one here, I think. Yeah, I agree. Because this agree. is the Red Bull one. I really wanted to see what happened when you yeah. watered a plant with Red Bull. It's really sticky. It's super wilty. Very it is wilty. A, more alive than any of the acid plants, mm -hmm. but it's on its last leg. It's very <laughs> droopy. I think if you would have had it watered with Red Bull for like two more days, it absolutely would have like fallen, fallen over. over. Yeah, it just looks really weak. Like the stems are strong, yeah. but the leaves are just weak. Nothing there. The one that still <laughs> looks really good is this one. And we thought this one was gonna die right away. Which so one's this, this one? This is the oil. I think I know what happened. Please so, enlighten me because I'm very intrigued. Like plants use water to transport the minerals up the stem and into the leaves. Like capillary action. Uh huh. And then using the the sun's light or UV light for photosynthesis. And oil is nonpolar, so it doesn't right. mess at all with water. So what I think right. happened is it literally couldn't absorb anything. So, so it wasn't absorbing any of the oil in to kill so it. So do you think it just had the original water after we picked them up from where we picked them up? Yeah, I think just the moisture in the air, the moisture in the soil. It's like if you didn't water a plant at all, this is what it would look like after a week. And the plant looks decently healthy. I mean, if we compare it to the water. It looks water, almost it identical. looks pretty much the same. I'm very impressed. I really thought the oil was going to suffocate it. I think if we left this one, it would suffocate eventually. Maybe for like another week? Yeah. So that's our root beer. Wow. All right, so I use A&W root beer. So we got sugar and water, but there's also acid in that as well. So the leaves are quite wilty. The flowers still seem indecent. They look a little sad, like they don't talk. If you don't have water, don't even put in soda, don't put in root beer. You might as well just not do anything just at all. Just don't water it. These three just look. <laughs> we didn't just so talk about bad. all three of them together. What's interesting I think about this one is that the vinegar actually pulled the color from the plant. Yeah, same with this lemon juice here. We can see on the back side mm -hmm. that the green is going away and it's turning a stale like brown yellow. Yeah, I think that is very fascinating. Like you can even see on this leaf right here that the green is still on the ends, but the most majority of the leaf is just white. And then our rubbing it's alcohol, you, it's got a little bit of that, but not as much not as, as bad. these other two. Yep. I mean, the rubbing alcohol was 70% strength, vinegar was a 5% solution, and then lemon juice is just purely Lemon juice. Acidic. We did talk about if the lemon juice would allow this plant to smell like lemons. Kevin, what is your consensus? It smells like plant death. 
Now yeah. I think we should go bury these plants in the backyard and give them a proper burial because they've been through it. We'll keep these two alive. Sounds good. Well, if there's anything you guys want to see us do with plants or different liquids, please let us know in the comments below. That's it for today, but we always got cool videos coming out, so make sure you hit that button down there, click subscribe so you can always see what's coming, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.